folks, Rob Dreemeyer here. Welcome to Broadway Barfly. Today we're celebrating the release of the film In the Heights with a Malta Fizz. If you're a theater fan who loves a great cocktail, click that subscribe button because Broadway Barfly is the channel for you. It's been well over a year since Broadway went dark and the tentative reopening dates are still months away, but we do have something new to whet our appetite, something to tide us over until we can go back into a live performance again, and that's the film version of the musical In the Heights. When In the Heights opened on Broadway in 2008, it was a big hit. It won four Tony Awards, including Best Musical and Best Original Score. That original score was written by Lin-Manuel Miranda, who wrote another hit musical you may have heard of called Hamilton. When Hamilton was released for streaming on Disney+, Plus, we made a cocktail called The Founder's Fizz, which is a cocktail from the room where it happens. It's a cocktail you can get at the bar in the lobby of the theater where Hamilton plays on Broadway. And I thought that was a great pairing because you could make yourself a Founder's Fizz and have a more authentic Broadway experience at home. Well, I have another cocktail for you that I hope will enrich your experience when watching In the Heights. In the Heights takes place in Washington Heights. That's, of course, where the show gets its title. Washington Heights is the neighborhood on the uppermost tip of Manhattan. It's always been known as a culturally diverse neighborhood, but in particular, it has a large Dominican population. The principal characters in In the Heights are Dominican. I would call In the Heights sort of a slice of life show. It takes place over the course of three days, three very important days in the lives of these characters. And most of the action takes place in and around this one central location, which is the bodega. If you're from New York City, you know exactly what I mean when I say bodega. If not, a bodega is part convenience store, part deli, part cultural institution. Yes, it's where you might pick up your bread and your milk or your cigarettes and your lottery tickets, but it's also a place where locals might stop in to hear the neighborhood gossip or to play a game of dominoes. One of the things that sets a bodega apart from a typical convenience store is that they'll usually sell products that cater to the cultural sensibilities of the neighborhood. For example, in the Heights, a bodega might likely sell plantains and other tropical fruits. They probably had a shelf of rice and beans and they would also sell Malta. I say Malta in particular because that's a key ingredient for our cocktail. Malta is a non-alcoholic carbonated beverage it shares some ingredients with beer and it looks and it pours sort of like root beer, but it really doesn't taste like either of those things. You can taste the malt in it and it's sweet, but it isn't overly sweet. It has a really unique flavor, all of its own. And I would say for most people, it's an acquired taste. But for people who like Malta, they really, really like Malta. It's very prominent in the Caribbean and it's especially popular with the Latino cultures of the Caribbean. Yesterday, I had a conversation with a friend of mine who's Puerto Rican, and that's important, this story. I invited him to appear in this video with me, but he flatly rejected the offer, so I have to relay the story myself. We were talking about the musical In the Heights, which then got us talking about bodegas, which led to us talking about Malta, and he said he remembered having it as a child, that his mother would give it to him with an egg and some milk and some sugar. She'd mix it all up and she'd make him drink it before he went to school to boost his immunity. Now, I had never heard of such a thing, but I'm from the Midwest, and he assured me that this is a Latino thing. While we were talking, he got this lightning bolt of an idea and he said, oh wait, you have to make a Malta cocktail for In the Heights. He said it's a perfect match. Lin-Manuel Miranda's Puerto Rican, certainly he knows what Malta is and he wrote a show about Dominicans. Dominicans love Malta. You have to make a Malta cocktail for In the Heights for Broadway Barfly and that's how we got to this point. The cocktail we're making was created not all that long ago by a bartender named Jose Miranda, who goes by the nickname Juice. I think Juice is a perfectly great nickname for a bartender. In spite of their shared last name, I have no reason to believe that he is related to Lin-Manuel Miranda. So Jose, or Juice, told the New York Times that he created this cocktail while he was the head bartender at WD-50. WD-50 was a very popular restaurant here in New York City by the celebrity chef Wiley Dufresne. You may recognize Wiley Dufresne from television. He's the sort of person who will show up from time to time as like a celebrity judge on Top Chef, for example. 
So anyway, Juice tells the New York Times about his childhood memories of having Malta, and his mother would make it for him with an egg and some sweetened condensed milk, very similar to my friend's story about his childhood memories. And he said that was the inspiration for his cocktail, the Malta Fizz. To make our Malta Fizz, we need Malta, Amber Rum, I'm using Bacardi Gold, Simple Syrup, Lime Juice, Cinnamon, and an Egg Yolk. Now, if you're the sort of person who's intimidated by drinking a cocktail with raw egg, then this is not the drink for you. There is no reasonable substitute for an egg yolk. And also, if you leave it out, it's just not the same cocktail. But I will also say this, if you don't try this drink, you are really missing out on something. <laughs> I was surprised at how much I enjoyed this. I had no idea what this was going to be like when all put together. But it's this really wonderful drink that has a, certainly a tropical vibe to it. But it's not your typical overly sweet or fruity cocktail. It's much more creamy and luscious and sort of an island spice kind of a cocktail. So we start by adding two ounces of the Malta to our tin, two ounces of our rum, an ounce of simple syrup, about three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. We give this just a dash of cinnamon. And then of course we add our egg yolk. We put this in our shaker of ice and we give this a really good shake. And I mean a really good shake because we need to make sure that we really emulsify all of that egg yolk. We strain this into a Collins glass with crushed ice, and we're going to double strain this, which is probably the best thing to do whenever you're using egg. You don't want any little undissolved bits floating around in the glass. We'll garnish it with a wheel of lime, and there you have our Malta Fizz. As always, thank you for spending your time with us here at Broadway Barfly. Don't forget to check out the show clips that we post. That way you have something to keep yourself entertained while you enjoy your cocktail. And as always, feel free to leave a comment below. I always like hearing what you have to say. Until the next time, cheers. If you enjoyed the video, why not give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends? Feel free to leave your comments and click that subscribe button because there's a lot more Broadway Barfly to come.